where today we are having a special question and answer with Mohammed. Now it is, we did say 2 p.m. UK time, which is 4 p.m. here in Egypt. Um, and he said that he's just had to pop out. So I don't know where he's gone, but he will be back in a few minutes. So if you've got any questions, feel free to type them in the comment box now. And while we're waiting for him, I'll just have a little explanation where we are. The first thing I'm going to do though, is just tilt the camera up a little bit because you can't quite see that lovely view of the sky, that lovely blue sky. So we're on the balcony here in Egypt, we're at the AMC Five Star Hotel uh, and this is my last night in Egypt so I'm flying back tomorrow. So we thought we'd use this opportunity to do a little question and answer with Mohammed because a lot of you have been asking about him uh, and he wanted to uh, give his reply and he's told me very specifically that I am not to answer, okay? So I'll be very much the facilitator. Obviously, if he does say anything um, that needs explaining or you guys ask something and he doesn't understand, obviously I will uh, fit in then to uh, help you both understand. Um, now with Facebook Live, there have been some issues with um, the questions coming up and the comments. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to be working. And hopefully we'll actually have Mohammed here as well. Um, we've got some cocktails here. Um, now I don't actually know what they are, we just asked the bar to make us some cocktails that are gonna look pretty. So I think that one's a Cuba Libra. This is what they just call a, a traffic light cocktail. And we have a reverse traffic light. With, with, I think it looks like it's got rum in the top. Uh, and then this other one is the red, orange, and uh, something on the bottom. Right, I think Mohammed is actually knocking on the door. I can't get in. Maybe that's why he's not here. I'll leave you with the view. I'll be back. Right, so it was Mohammed knocking on the door. Obviously that always helps to answer your door when you're in a hotel room. I just thought maybe he would have taken his key with him, but he didn't. Right, Mohammed, you ready? Right, he needs two more minutes. So, as I said, those are the cocktails. I did share in the group yesterday the cocktail list here at the hotel. And I have to say, a lot of you were not really impressed, were you? You were looking for something uh, a little bit more exciting. Like pina colada, I love pina colada. I also love a white Russian as well, which has got the, the cream in it. So I'm sure on request though, they will make anything. Uh, Mohammed likes to have double or triple cocktails. So he just tells them to make a special cocktail that's really, really strong. But he will explain a little bit more, I'm sure. So as I said, this is questions and answers with Mohammed. So if you've got any questions, feel free to type them in the questions box and Mohammed will be answering them all in a moment. Um, let me just check the notifications here. Now you'll also be pleased to know Mohammed has been to the hairdressers today, especially for this video. So you will see his uh, new stylish look in a moment. And I have been sent some questions via private message as well. Uh, people didn't want to ask them in the group. So we will be answering those as well. But we'll be starting off by just a little bit, who is Mohammed, a little bit of information about him. Um, name, age, it's particularly age. I've been asked a lot of questions about that. So we will clear up. Um, I might actually get him to get his Egyptian ID as well out and prove it because I think uh, legally we do need to <laughs> we need to do a little bit of age verification live um, I'm just catching up as well on the comments of the live video Carla Hamid the other reason that I need to 
keep talking is because we have some hotel music playing behind us. And for those of you who've done Facebook Lives, uh, if, if Facebook pick up too much of the music, they will black out the voice in this video. So this is why I'm talking non-stop until we get our little superstar here. I might have a little swig of this one because it won't be affected. The colour won't be affected. And for those of you, oh, that's strong. For those of you that did uh, comment on that cocktail list, I did try them all apart from one. So there is one cocktail. I think Jackie requested um, I will be trying this evening, my last night in Egypt. I'll tell you another little story as well while we get going. Um, and that is, uh, oh, what have you done to your face? Huh? You put it white. You become like Michael Jackson or what? Huh? Come closer. Great. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? <laughs> what have you done to your face? They make it to me, sir. Really? Yes. Wow. So he's um, he's whited up. Is he? Are we, are we looking the same colour yet? So this is his new hair. Yes, it's my new hair. And you did this especially for the viewers today? Yes, true. Right. So first of all, do a general introduction. Who are you? I am Mohammed Inoubi, 27 now, after one month, 28. Uh, lawyer? Not liar, lawyer. Lawyer. So your education is a lawyer? Yes. And do my work too. And, yeah. And here's a, um, <laughs> right, Claire's asking, is it makeup? No, not makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, I think you know this. I think, is it the powder that they put it's on? It's not powder, honey. Huh? It's not powder, it's kind of cream on my face. Oh, really? Yes. It, I think it looks good on the camera, though. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Keep the questions coming. Yes. So, the, the first thing we need to talk about is your age. Yes. Because I've had many private messages, especially I had a call today saying, is he 15? Oh, Somebody no. even said, is he 10? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he is 27. Do you have your Egyptian ID? I have my passport. Can you show them the passport? Can yes. We, can we Do verify? you really believe me? Uh, yeah, some of them don't believe that your age. Can you get your passport? Sure. <laughs> we'll do a little bit of age verification. Um, Claire is saying it's makeup for sure. Now apparently it is a cream, Claire. We will uh, we'll, uh, get that verified exactly what sort of cream it is. So Claire, because you're watching live, how old do you think he looks? It's very... Um, you see, the problem with my Google Pixel camera, because it does the retouching for you, he does actually look 10 in some of the photos. He looks like a really young boy. Um, but as I said, it's because of the retouching on the phone rather than that. Um, Claire's saying a lawyer of what? Right, so we'll ask him his speciality in law in a few moments. That's a good question, Claire, because I've, I've never actually asked him that, I don't think. Um, but I will tell you a little bit more about him. He, he was a lawyer from, I don't know whether he was 14 or 16. Basically, his dad was a lawyer, so his dad used to take him into the court. So that is the backstory behind that. For those of you just joining us, I'll show, tell you about the view. So behind us, this hotel that we're in is the AMC, but next door, you can see this beach there is the Hawaii Aqua Park, it's called. Uh, one of our friends, um, Claire, Julia, went to that hotel and she said it was awful. Right, so here is the Egyptian ID. Would you like to read out your birthday? What does it say? 93. 93? I right. Yes. Right, so you 1 January, 4 January, 1993. Right, so the 4th of January, 1993. Yes. So now we are officially verified as he is over age. Right, Claire is saying she thinks you look 18. All my friends say this, by the way. But it's nice saying I enjoy this. Yeah, it is a great thing to yeah. look young. And why do you think you do look young? Hmm? Why 
Is it because you're Nubian, because you're Egyptian? Why? It's not about uh, my nationality or what, not about where I come from. It's just uh, my gene. Your gene? Yes. Right, so Claire's asking, what sort of lawyer are you? I am a general. I work at uh, many cases. I can work in Medini for people, for normal problems, and for criminal problems. Okay, so cri cases. criminal law and general law. What's your favorite thing? Um, all, I like all. But you like like murders or something like that? No, I like all. I like all about all cases. I don't have my favorite answers. Right. Interesting work here. Right, so Claire's saying yes, you look 18. Uh, her next one is, so can he help you out if you have any luggage issues? What? Sorry? Oh, <laughs> what Claire's trying to say is, you know, because I'm taking the tablets and the cigarettes, so if the police take me because of this, yeah. can you help me with I can't, this? I can't help you in England. I can't help you here. <laughs> yeah, this is what she means. Yes, yeah. yes, sure. So if I have any problem, I have my own personal lawyer now. So, Claire, that is great. And I am nurse. I study nursing too. After I finish my uh, law college, really? I study nursing. You didn't tell me that? Yes. Oh, so if I get sick, you can also nurse me? Yes, sure. Great. Yes. I'm nursing with hearts. <laughs> Broken hearts. <laughs> nursing of broken hearts. Can it get can it get more romantic guys? So if you're wondering what man's drinking, if you missed the start of the video, we have got some cocktails here. Um, and we are here ready for your questions. Um, I'm just gonna be scrolling a little bit just to make sure we get all the questions here. So Claire, have you got any more questions? If not, we're gonna go to the ones that uh, have been asked already in the group. Yes. Right, you ready for your difficult one, yes. Mohammed? Yes. So my friend called Pam, who's the uh, Indian girl, yes. she's asking, are you looking for a British passport? I was uh, easy to go into Germany before. It was so easy. It was my, uh, was my best friend. I like my life. I like life here in Egypt. But I, it's not important, British or German or whatever. It's, uh, it's egal to me. It's uh, no different to me. It's okay. So, obviously, we can't talk too loudly about the. Sorry. We can't talk very loudly about yeah. the issue in yes. Egypt of a man and a man together. Yes, it's a very big problem here. It's really dangerous thing. I always have many. I see many cases on life, and I know many things about life society and gay society here in Egypt. It's really dangerous. Not uh, normal dangerous, it's very dangerous. We can say this. And the, the problem is, it's not even dangerous from the police or the court. It's dangerous from the people, isn't it? Yes. This is the real danger. Yes, from normal people. It's your work destroyed, your life destroyed, all, all they can destroy. But, but the nice thing, it's an um, open, uh, open city like Horgada. Many people come from all the world. So it's, uh, we have much freedom here. And by the way, there are many gay uh, society in Egypt. Really, ma really many, but we, they can't show us. They can't say this. So many of my friends here on Facebook have yeah. seen, um, have not seen me with a man before, like publicly. What, how, why do you feel confident to do this? What should I say for this? Like, why are you stronger than all the other guys that maybe I've been friends with before? I think it's coming from my personality and uh, my experience at life here in Egypt and my study law. I think I can protect myself good by any way. Good, that's a good uh, answer. And this is why I like him so much, by the way, guys, because he isn't shy like a lot of the other guys. And, and not even shy, you know, a lot of them live in fear and are really, really scared. But for some reason, he's not <laughs> scared at all. Okay, so Claire's asking, have you defended any murders? Have any, see? Or no, have you, you know, in the court, yes. have you helped, helped somebody that has murdered someone? 
uh, I don't have this kind of cases, but I have uh, most of cases is because my I coming from Upper Egypt. Upper Egypt we don't have many many cases for uh, killing for for this. So it's very little about killing cases, murder cases. So why do they not have much murder in Upper Egypt? We don't have much labor because the people, all people, uh, strong families there, and all people know each other. It's not know each other; they are like uh, life in one flat. Yeah, so it's more of a family community, basically. Yeah. So, um, where did you learn your English? I studied in English school when I was uh, when first my school. I was in English school. And where were you born? Where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Aswan and after in Alexandria <laughs> from, uh, from south to north. So for those of you who don't know, Aswan is the very south of Egypt. Yes. Where very much the darkest skinned people are from. Yes. And the Kind north people. of Egypt is um, where the white skin, are most white skin. Yes. But what you find is the, the people in the south are, they live a more simple life. Um, and as Mohammed said, have a kind of heart. They're kind of, they have different values, don't they? Yes. Uh, oh, the natural, I think the natural work in this too. Okay. Yeah. Um, Right, the other things about you, so you drink? Yes. What's your favorite drink, alcoholic drink? Um, I drink all. I know, th I know your favorite, you can tell them. Tequila. Really? Yes. I, I thought it's 50%. Oh no, tequila is it. <laughs> oh, it's beer, it's 50% is just beer. Yeah, so they have uh, beer 15% up here, which you may have seen photos of. But yeah, tequila seems to be his favorite. And this is why I ended up drinking one the other day. Okay, what's your favorite food? Um, I eat all. I eat everything. But what's your favorite? Um, I don't have favorite food. I eat everything. Beer is his favorite option. Uh, Claire's shirt saying shot, shot, shot. How many tequilas have you had before? Um, What's the maximum shots you've had? I think at one night I drink uh, five shots. Five, <laughs> five tequila shots? Yes. <laughs> and you, the thing is, he, you're saying that you've never been like totally drunk, that you can't walk. Yes. How come? I never. And I drink very, very serious things. Really? Yes. I drink something in my body, I, I can't feel alcohol in my body. Right, Donna's here. Hi Donna, welcome Hi, Donna. to the live video. So we are mm -hmm. here answering questions today. So if you've got any um, if you've got any questions, Donna, feel free. Um, so Donna, I mentioned to you earlier, Donna sent me a private message yes. um, about um, she said <laughs> that uh, maybe I won't be that'll be in Egypt more than England. You are stealing me from her. What's your reply? Oh, I, I don't think I still uh, really love you so much. I'm speaking about you, all of you so much, and say many great uh, things about you. Don't add at all uh, his group. Really, I he speak too much about you. He, you like for him like his family. So I, I don't think love can be broken any kind of this. And this is why we call them the Slim Brothers and the Sisters, yes, because it is like. very much family. Yes. Right, Claire's talking about tequila, and she's saying you need 10 tequila. Yes, to be really drunk, I think I need 10. Right, so when Claire comes, she'll happily give you 10 tequila. Okay, she can carry me? Claire, can you carry him? Don't, me and Claire can carry you together, don't worry. Yes. How many kilos are you? I am, uh, I am 70, I think. 70 kilos? Yeah. Um, for those of you wondering as well about Mohammed jumping yesterday, he's actually tell us about your swimming. Yes, I'm a fantastic swimmer. I love the swimming. I'm uh, I take third place on Egypt champion before. It's before I smoke cigarette. I take <laughs> third one. And after after I can be I can walk for uh, I can swim for long uh, but not fast. And we champion in swimming or diving. Swimming. Swimming. Yes. I will make some videos of him actually swimming and just diving. 
Right, Linda's here. She's waving. So hi, Linda. Welcome. Hi. Right, Linda's also doing this to you. Linda's the uh, can I this? this and this. Here, can you use this? It's like saying like this. But as I said in England, <laughs> this means something. No, no, no. That means no. that. I am very respectful. I can't say this. <laughs> it's Linda's new sign to say that always. Um, right, Claire's saying um, she will be drunk herself, so she can't carry it. She can't. She can't because she'll be drunk because she's also having ten tequilas. I believe me. I you. I really uh, I really want to see myself really drunk, but I, it's never happened. I feel worried though. Yes. Why? Huh? Why if you don't? Because I think even when you're not drunk, you're, you're a little bit wild. So if you're completely <laughs> drunk, I don't know what will happen. I feel you just shut down. Though. I think I will sleep. I will go to sleep if I collapse. So the strange thing is, um, the last four nights we've had a drink every single night. <laughs> and what's happened every night? You sleep first, you come to <laughs> sleep direct. First of all, I've been getting so drunk just from one drink and then just sleeping direct. So, and what you think is boring? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, it's important to me you are feel good and you are it's good, it's fine. So sorry. Right, Claire's saying you should drink these 10 tequilas tonight. Really? We don't have tequila here. Yeah, uh, this is the problem, Claire. Tequila's not on our menu here in All Inclusive. But when I come back from England, I promise you I'll bring you a bottle of tequila. Oh, thank you so much. And we'll do a tequila live. Thanks. How, how many shots before he passes out? What? Why do I feel like I'm going to kill his liver? Um, right, Linda's saying I am a very cheap date. No. Not she means you only need one shot of tequila and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I was huh? saying, why is this here, so? But it's good to be a cheap date, by the way. I'm sure. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, right. Go for reals. <laughs> right, guys, so keep your questions coming in. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us now, we did answer the passport question earlier on. Um, and the other thing that I must say as well that Pam said, <laughs> as soon as I posted that I was in a relationship, I got a private message from Pam, who's in this group, and it just said in capital letters, do not marry anyone uh, I don't have a name for this huh? I don't have I don't I, I do I don't ask her why why don't marry anyone it's not about me it's just uh, for public for general particularly Pam she knows that I'm quite spontaneous I think she's just worrying that I will just marry anyone for no I think he is a smart person and very nice person and he can uh, decide what he can do and I think he can uh, can hold what uh, is a choice. Um, Don is asking, what a lovely guy. I can't think of a nicer guy to share with her. So she's happy to share with you. Oh, thanks so much. So the question that also I've been asked privately, where did we meet? We meet at Roma Cafe, first day. I know, but where did we find each other? You can, it's all right, you can tell them. In Grindr, it's so, up. So Grindr is a gay app. Yes. So how come a gay app works in Egypt? How does it work? No, it's normal to work. Many gay apps work in, in Egypt. It's okay. They don't. Uh, we have go stupid government. They can't uh, don't uh, close all apps or close anything like internet or. It's okay. We have there are Egypt freedom too, and many gay society. We're talking the problem here about. Uh, about your life will be so hard when people you are saying I'm gay and I'm super gay and I can say this for all your life will destroy at all. Nobody will can. We don't uh, Egyptian people we not ready for this kind of freedom yet. So how do you feel when somebody comes from Europe, yeah. a super gay as we call them, and yeah. they're like dancing in the street waving their European no, passport? No, it's okay. How do you feel though it's about okay. that? It's okay to me at all. I know, but do you not feel like it's wrong, like double standard? Yes, I. Um, the over at anything, it's come back bad for this thing. Anything be more over than stable or uh, what should we say in this English? Uh, normal. You just be yourself, but if you want to dancing or you want, you have freedom to do all. I can't judge people for anything. I don't like to judge people, but you must respect the kind of law here or respect the the, the mind of people here. If you don't like or you don't like, you must respect people. 
Right, Claire is asking, sometimes you're smart, sometimes you're very crazy. Claire, are you talking about me or are you talking, <laughs> talking about Mohammed? I think we are the same as this. <laughs> this is something you will reply a notice about him. Like when we arrived at the hotel yesterday, he was in a full like suit, like proper with the yeah. big, big businessman. Yes. Uh, and then he was straight in his swimming costumes. You know what I found in his house? He's got a G-string Union Jack. Where, where did you get that from? And where, when are you wearing it? Please never wear it with me. Where's it from? A gift. You know this, this small Yes, boxer. yes, yes. I buy it. <laughs> Why? England flag, uh, flag on this boxer, by the way. I will show you later. I know it is. <laughs> it's by chance, I swear. It's, a, it's with me from long time. Right. Um, Linda. Right, Linda is saying she's got... When you have a wedding in England, the girls wear hats. So when Linda's saying she's got her hat ready for the wedding. What? Sorry? Linda has got her hat ready for the wedding. Yes. You ready for the wedding? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? I'm ready on time. I'm ready for any question. I'm ready for all. <laughs> right, Claire's saying you. Are you talking about me, Claire? So yeah, so Claire's saying I am like very smart sometimes, but yes. sometimes completely crazy. It's nice thing, by the way. Be yourself. Shall we talk about last night? So last night we had our first argument. Which, you know, a little bit of me is a little bit happy because so far, you know, I've been, we've been chatting for like three weeks and we've been face to face for one week um, and it's all been very like happy clappy. But yesterday we did have a little argument for the first time. Um, I will let uh, them go. I will not uh, say something okay. about this. I will... Wait, you want to tell them the situation? Or no, not? you can't say. Huh? You can't say this. So basically, um, Mohammed went out to get some things for um, my friends so I can bring them back um, sure. yesterday. I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, he was a little bit late. So he was going out for an hour or two. He ended up going out for five hours. Four and hours. I, no, it was five. From 11 o'clock until no, 2 o'clock? from 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Yeah, you left at 10. I don't know, I think it's 11, but it's okay. So he left at 10 and he was back at 3 a.m. Okay, let's talk about uh, one hour and a half for for going and back. You walking or what? Not walking. <laughs> I go to Midtown, it's about 20 minutes, you, you can go get it. <laughs> so this is the other thing, if you, if you don't experience the relationship, even a friendship with an Arab man, um, they do like to chat with their friends, don't you? What? You like to talk with your friends. I like to talk with my friends. And if somebody says, Oh, Mohammed, Dala, come and drink with me, Dala. Yes. And if I don't make this, it's kind of rude of me. How come he say he come for drink something? But if I have important thing or whatever, I must go, so it's okay. But we uh, we have special thing on Egypt here. Uh, most of English people, you must uh, uh, learn this about us, of Egyptian people. We are always late about our times. We're not like you, straight about time, no. We don't have this kind of stuff, you know? So, so we have different uh, two time on world. We have world time and we have Egyptian time. And you must, when you have any Egyptian in your life, ask him, it's world time or Egyptian time. And he, if he say world time, it's okay. If he say uh, Egyptian time, you can take uh, sleep or take shower or <laughs> make anything. Yeah, so last night, why didn't you tell me I'll be one hour Egyptian time? And then I would have gone to bed direct. I don't say uh, one hour Egyptian time. I don't say anything about time. Because I really was not know what time. Tell them what you make about this. What you replay when I come. Okay, so he came out at three o'clock. I was really upset. And um, I said to him, look, Mohammed, I will not fight with you. I will not and begin. you do. <laughs> I will not fight with you, I will not shout with you, I will just leave you direct. <laughs> yes, he was so rude with me yesterday. But the special thing, uh, after he finished his talking, I just be patient, I don't reply him at all. Just I say to him, uh, he 
he will make this uh, so bad and I don't mean this. And I come to, uh, we sleep together and I hug him at our sleeping. After he say all bad words he want to say. But you know what made me really mad was because I was trying to talk with him and all he kept saying was, I need to eat, I'm hungry, I need to eat, I'm hungry. Um, yeah, so I didn't really sleep very well at all yesterday um, because before I was upset, where was he? And then afterwards I was upset because he was there. I don't know why he upset at all, but it's okay. So I look forward to having a little nap after this video uh, and hopefully that was our last argument because tomorrow I'm going. I'm going to England tomorrow. Yeah. Right, Linda's saying you, we are already like she feels like we're already married because we're arguing about these yeah, stupid things. Yeah, it's the same, Linda. <laughs> okay. Any more questions, guys? Because that is nearly. You can't over ask now. about dirty question, by the way. It's okay to me. Yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, I was saving these for the end of the video. So now we're going to get into the juicy, because my friend Claire, the other Claire, not Claire who's with us here, the other Claire. Yes. So on Facebook, what is your Facebook name? Safe Strong Song. So safe, strong sword. What does it mean? What does safe mean? Safe is meaning sword. So in Arabic, it means sword. Yes. So your name is sword, strong sword. Yes. So what does that mean? Can I answer this clear or? Sure. Yeah. No, I can't say this. You can. Just don't show them. Don't show them. Don't show them. You need to ask uh, him about this. I think I can't. I know that the person to answer all this. Well, you become shy. Suddenly yes. you become shy. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, you become shy. Let's just say he's being proud. That's, that's why he's calling himself the, the sword. Right, the other question that came up, remember, from Bev. Bev isn't here live, but she did ask straight away. Yes. Why on Facebook does it say you are single? Because uh, when I said uh, I am in a relationship, I will have uh, many questions. Uh, who is, uh, I have all the people, they want to know everything about you. People want to know everything about you. They yeah. ask you about personal, uh, you don't have personal space here. <laughs> when Egypt, they can ask you who is this and they can replace this question so much and this will be nice. And to be honest with you, I know that even Egyptian men that marry European, they, they often don't put anything on Facebook yes, because yes. their family and their friends will ask them so many questions. Yes. And obviously sex before marriage, especially in Islam, is prohibited. Yes. Um, so it's just a very difficult thing. So this is why I'm not too worried about the fact that it still says he is single on his Facebook. Um, so I'm more Israel, it's not about what I said. Okay, so where would you like to see yourself in five years' time? What I will see myself in five years? If you think about your life now in five years, yes. what would you like? What would your life be like? I think I will be happy. Just? Yes, just I will be happy. I was looking always to be happy whatever I want, I will do. And I think if I do if anything I do, I will be happy too. I respect my choice. What I'm worried about, because I've been seeing him, because we've been living in the flat, he hasn't really been eating much. But in the hotel, he's been eating so, <laughs> so much. Yes. So I've got a feeling in five years' time, you're going to be like 200 kilos, you know, like I, I was before. You know, I eat sometimes, I eat so too, mu too much, but my weight not to change. <laughs> and sometimes he admits that he never eats at all some days. Yes, yeah, some days I don't eat anything. This is the problem with smoking and drinking too much. Yes. You lose your appetite. So for those of you out there that are looking to lose your appetite, uh, have a little shot of tequila instead tonight. Right, so I think that is it guys. So unless you've got any more questions, I am gonna go for a little sleep. Uh, and just to remind you uh, that I am coming back to England tomorrow, um, but I probably uh, just for a few days because then I'll be coming back out to yes. stay with the Nobian Prince 
So why do, why do we call you the Nubian Prince? What is a Nubian Prince? Are you a Nubian Prince? I am not a, a real Nubian Prince because we don't have uh, this kind of names, uh, but this kind of uh, people give this name when you are uh, have uh, lifestyle of something like this. And if you have special thing like princess, your personality or your uh, your uh, the way you talking or the way you acting on your life. They make names, make nicknames like boss, like uh, prince, like leader, kind of this. And they give me this name, I don't know why. But what is Nubian for no those people that no don't know what Nubian is? Nubian is uh, the name of uh, the people of my city. It's called Nubian people. And basically all these people are quite dark skinned, aren't they? Yes, especially dark skinned. On Aswan, they call them Nubian. And only Nubian on Egypt. On Aswan, most of them on Aswan, they are in, in many, many cities in Egypt, but most of them on Aswan. Very and kind people, by the way, you love them if anybody can talk Aswan. And just to let you know, these are my actual favorite people in Egypt. Yeah, well, if I so could much. choose a boyfriend, it would actually be a Nubian, Nubian. person. Yes. So this is why I know already that I love him. Right, so that is it. Thank you for answering the question and answers. Happy for you. If you missed Thanks. the live, guys, and you've got any more questions, feel free to comment and Mohammed will reply himself. Thank you Thank for you. joining us. Um, I will see you. Uh, these are Egyptian kisses, by the way. <laughs> no one's watching, it's fine. Okay. Bye, bye for now, guys. Bye.